But I, here I go. I am uh, doing a live video on spontaneous. This is how I how I roll. I do a lot of videos on my uh, Facebook page too, as well. So if you guys haven't been there, uh, please do go check that out. But uh, right now I am going to be whacking a dent here. I'm going to leave this on for a while. This is my student. This is his fourth week, beginning of his fourth week training. And we're just going over uh, the type of type of dents that we are we're doing here. Hold on a second here. I got a call. One thing about live video, man, you just never know, right? Never know. Anyway, so this is a aluminum panel. This is an aluminum panel. Uh, for those who don't know, you know, what's the big deal about aluminum? Uh, aluminum really sucks about uh, pushing. You can see that we use some very sharp tools to uh, work this aluminum panel. So we're just going to... Now, you see how hard I hit that? And it really didn't make a huge difference, but that is a, that is a nice deep dent. <clears throat> Actually, a stretched dent. That's about the size of a silver dollar right there, in case you guys are wondering. I don't have any coins on front of me. Actually, maybe I got a penny just to give you guys a reference here. So that's a penny, right? And you can see it stretches from this edge to that edge, okay? So what he's going to be using is uh, a lot of different sharp tools, uh, possibly a... Uh, one of the blems right here, uh, one of the Anson's, one of the Anson's curve tool, uh, maybe Anson pick, ultra pick over there. And this is this is the gentleman right there. That's Augustine. Say hi, Augustine. He's from uh, the Dominican Republic. And yeah, so we're going to be talking. And then here's some other tools too as well. We like to use uh, some Excalibur tools or like that. Right, maybe a maybe a bigger one too. Let's see. You know, you may want to try this one too. Okay, I'm gonna bring some over. Let's give you a little bit more curved here. I do everything spontaneous. So if you guys want to see, look, look, you guys can see. Let me zoom in a little bit. You guys can see that's that's pretty obvious. Now for aluminum, that it can be a very very tough dent. You might want to set up your heat for this one, okay? Get this, get this going. So I'm gonna actually, I'm not gonna be talking this whole time. I'm just gonna set this up in a little bit. We can get it focused on what he's uh, working, and occasionally I'll, I'll move the camera, I'll come talk, but I'm just gonna leave it live. You guys want to watch it? Go ahead. You guys want to come back later on? It'll be here, okay? This will probably, he's gonna be on this for about an hour, or so I would say that. No, no rushing. So go ahead and set your, your heat up here. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to set my little little thing up here. My little video. Hope you guys are doing good. So, I don't think you're getting camera interruptions, guys. I do a lot of things just spontaneously live. You never know when I'm going to go live. I don't like that planning stuff all the time, man. It's just, uh, sometimes it doesn't go as planned when you want to plan it. So I'll be moving around, depends on what his, he's doing. So you can see he's actually uh, setting up some heat. Aluminum is probably one of the most toughest things for, uh, for text to learn in the beginning. You'll watch it, it's gonna change a little bit, that. S Steven, good day, mate. Hope you, uh, I know that coronavirus thing up there that is, you guys can't go from one place to another. You have to stay in your own territory, I heard. I, I know because I have some students coming to see me from Australia and they can't go until, it says possibly 2023. I mean, and, or unless they have a vaccine. So that's going to be pretty uh, interesting. Wagner, we're just using a simple heat gun now. If you guys are wondering what the heck 
you know, what is, what is that arm? Well, that arm is, um, that arm is the get a grip. It's called the strong arm. You know, it'll hold that. I honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I prefer nothing on the car if possible. Now you can see it's warping a little bit. That, that the aluminum is, it's, uh, it's, it's raising itself up. It's getting nice and hot. Vicente, how you doing there, amigo? Vicente's from Puerto Rico. So. Okay, so you can see it's starting to warp a little bit. I mean, let me show you like how the cow gets here. Okay. Do you see how it, see how it's really deforming? You see how it's the, the lines are bending outward on the far, like right in that area, and over there it's starting to tweak. That's because the panel is getting very very hot, and then the aluminum likes to expand and and shrink and do all that kind of crap. It'll shrink back down normally. All right, dude, go ahead. It's even pulling that dent up a little bit. Just it's making it a little bit tighter. All right, go ahead and use your tools, whatever tool you want. I I brought some tools down there on the ground too as well. So if you want to grab them, you like that one? This is Blem. Okay. Teach these guys pretty good. I teach them all right. We'll see if we'll see if he's gonna make it. Don't rush, dude. Don't rush. What he's doing is trying to see if how it's gonna react. I'll zoom in a little bit more for you guys. Hold on, let me see if I can get this just a little bit. It's a little deeper than last time, huh? Now you remember what you could do as a technique, right? To get some of it up, right? If it's a real stretch dent sometimes, what do we like to do to get a head start? Mm -hmm. You can, I mean, if you feel comfortable still pushing, just don't wanna make any mistakes, right? We don't wanna, we don't wanna knock down prematurely if we don't have to. Right, but we're getting go the other side. See if you can if you can grab something from the other side of that tool of that dent. There you go. You know, there you go. Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, I I when I train my my students, I, I tell them, look, this is act like it's a bomb, right? You don't want to make high spots, okay? There's, it's totally unnecessary if you're making a high spot. Totally, totally unnecessary. There should be no reason for you to make a high spot. Otherwise, you're doing it wrong. And then, otherwise, you're gonna learn. By the way, we are, uh, we are here at my shop here. And we're just, uh, I'm bringing that car back to norm, back to life here. I haven't drove that car since 2008. This used to be my one of my first dent cars when I created Dent Time. I was out there driving around servicing cars uh, with that, and it had all it was lettered all up and all that good stuff. We'll we'll take a look at it a little bit later. But. There you go. I do see a little bit of, just a little bit of, careful, when you want a good push, let me see that, when, you're, when, you're, when, you're, when you want a real good push, don't try to, don't try to stab it this way, kind of push up like this, and you're going to get a, like a more softer push with, with, by, by going like this, instead of going like that, okay, try to control that, that, that push.
No, once you get to it, though. Once you get to it, okay? That glue change on you? Uh-huh. Let me see. Let me see that thing. Give you guys a little perspective here. Uh, he's using a blem tool too, by the way. And these blem tools are one of the best in my book here. It's from this set right here. And it's gonna retail you this this set right here is gonna be about four hundred and twenty dollars. This is one of the better sets I I really like. The thickest. I wouldn't say they're all good. You can order the full set, but this is the one I use the most because I really like the stiffness and the diameter of that. And that is the five sixteenths, by the way. My shop is super clean here. If you guys, if anybody's watching in San Diego. You need a dent removed, come on by. Take a look. He's getting it. I, do you see anything that you need to knock down? I would knock down a couple small areas just to set it up a little bit, you know what I mean? Hey, Spanish, what's that say? Desde España, viendo a... Uh, directly from Spain. Directly from Spain? Oh. I'm from, hey, my last name. See, I'm, I'm, my last name is Toledo, or Toledo, from Spain, but I don't speak any Espanol. <laughs> Piquito. All right, so. Yeah, just tap down. Just, just tap down. Do you see any highs, or do you, like, you don't? I don't want you just tapping for good. Yeah, I definitely, because we know it doesn't look symmetrical, right? We know it kind of looks a little. Sergio. I'll have I'll have him read that that Spanish later because I don't understand. So, but thank you for watching. So, another thing too is he's using a um, VIP tap down too as well. I really like that tap down. Just careful, don't go too far out. I wouldn't be concerned with that too much. I, I would just look in the inside there. If you don't see it, here let me show you. Let me see. Let me let me let me back up. Okay. So, I'm going to show you right here. See that left side? See that little edgy? See how edgy it is? Let me see. Oh, let me zoom out. Let me see that. See how edgy it is right here? Mm -hmm. That's where I want to knock down. You see the right side? Nice yeah, and clean, yeah, right? Yeah. This side's not. Okay. Okay. This side, this side's nice and fat and symmetrical mm -hmm. but this is a little 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 pinched right there and right here okay. boy aluminum okay so while he's tapping that down i'm going to show you this is the og car right here and i'm bringing this thing back to life 
This is a B18, all motor, 212 off the dyno. But uh, yeah, we'll probably put a K20 motor in there sooner or later. Uh, we're definitely, we're polishing the hood. T37's Volks on there. And uh, yeah, we're getting, it, we're getting it ready to go. And then see, I'll show you even the, even the license plate. Well, the license plate was dim time right there. So as we'll get back. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Getting it, getting all that set. <laughs> No, Vicente Jr. is not getting that car ever. Uh, uh, he'll kill himself in that, or the car will get stolen. Good. Okay. I, I, yeah, you're right. I see where you're looking at. Just a little bit on that edge on the left side. No, yep, right there. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good setup. Okay. You just don't want that to go in there and looking a little chewy. You know what I mean? Now, the other option was to what we kind of discussed a little bit was if you have a stretch dent bigger than a quarter, I personally would have tried. I would have glue pulled a little bit of it, right? Got some of the center up, give you a head start, and then go ahead and push. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to get it. You don't want to mess it up. Yeah. This is my setup here. This is uh, James Lee Elimident Medusa adapter. Again, I don't like anything on the vehicle as much as possible. I meant like far as the lighter suction cups because they do like to fall. Speaking of that, see this? This is about to fall. So, I'm just going to make sure. Technically, that's not the way I like it. I, I wouldn't. I like to do it a different way but I know most of you put stuff on your vehicle right there um, I do have some new tools to show you guys lately this is these these uh, these are the dent reaper mini rods fantastic you probably saw me do a couple time lapses uh, I'm doing some of this on my uh, Instagram or my Facebook page and if you're not if you haven't been on my Facebook you know it's, it's dent time Instagram dent time at dent time what else tools did I get oh I cut some tools off of this really right so I yeah did these ones right here so these are the 45 degrees I cut these and I have this so most of my tools are the octagons, actually, and I think Ultra now is starting to, almost every tool you can get now is going to be octagon. You can have it. And why would you want the octagon? So you can put any handle system you want on it like that. Uh, what other handle systems out there? Let me see. Yeah, talk about this one. Let's shop. Sorry, it's a little messy here, guys. So there's the next set here. So this version right here, you can put a T and Ultra has got a new T handle system as well. I just don't, I don't have it in front of me now because uh, it's, they're re modifying it and they'll be sending it to me later, but you probably saw it on Instagram. But this one right here is my business partner, John Hiley's, uh, it's called the tactical. So you can take one of these, ed you can put, take one of these handles, put it on top of here. So you have a two in one. Um, so it goes on, you know, these, this type of systems, these are the door lords right there, the sharp tools and then the door tools, the double shot tools. So, and then this is how they used to come like this, but, um, this handle is, I would call it a temporary handle system. That is something to put in your hand, but it's not, uh, it's not as comfortable as something like this in your hand. Okay. You getting ready to push? And then uh, we'll go back to him, see what he's doing. Now, 
also on some of those aluminum hoods you need like curved tools so that's what we're why, why we're using some of the cur curved tools because sometimes if the tool dents further away back we're using one of these so I wish I could understand Spanish. I'm gonna freaking learn it sooner or later. I'm gonna to have to go learn Spanish, man. Oh, you're waiting for that to heat up. Ah, oh, I see what you're doing. Are you giving these guys all the secrets here, man? That's a crooked tab. I'd get a different one. It's a little, you know where they're at? It's over there on that back. They're on the, the glue tray thing on the other side of the car. What else is going on here? I don't want to cut on a live video off. I, I've been, oh, we're talking about door panels too. We were taking some door panels off. We go the whole nine yards over here. Let's, uh, let's see, in door number three, I was talking about some hammers here. Now this is a little bit, <laughs> this is about as unorganized as you're gonna see, okay? I know because I just my other student just left, so let's talk about some of the first that that black tray right there underneath the max backs the first tray. So this is the crown jewel. This is for knocking down crowns. This is my latest hammer. This is a uh, Damascus. It's fantastic too, man. Now I dropped it. I'm telling you rules and freaking awesome tools. <laughs> well, gracias. Thank you. So this is Damascus. And if you don't know anything about Damascus is they fold it, they stretch it, fold it, stretch it, fold it. And that's why you see these lines in the, uh, in the, in the hammer. Okay. And it makes a very, very tempered, hard metal. And when you, so it's very heavy too as well. So when you're tapping, you don't have to swing. You don't have to lift it up very high. Uh, so you let the hammer do the, the, the work, tequila tab or the tequila compression tabs. Uh, you know, I like the compression tabs, to be honest with you, uh, Vicente. So yeah, if that's what you're asking, I do like the compression tabs. This one is a Damascus, another one from Cars Formers. A very good one. This is probably the lightest out of the Damascus ones I have. Actually, it's, I do have, I thought I had one or more. I can't remember where I put it, but this is a very good one. And I put a handle, you know, I put handle. I just put tape underneath it and then I put the wrap on top of it. Now, this one comes from Russia. It's a pretty cool design. A little bit of a tip there, right? So if you're if this one, where you give a little nice little, just let you just let the thing do its thing, man. I like it. I like it a lot pretty sick a lot of, a lot of work into that um, Daniel Groms some carbon sack actually but this is a, a heavier type of uh, blending hammer very good on the uh, on the handle I mean we got some we got a lot of stuff to talk about man I, I can go all day on that let's go see what he's doing here Okay, now see, it's got something. Now I could work with that. I could push that. If you want, if you want to, if you want to pull this some more, go ahead. Okay. You might want to take a crease tab though. Put a like, a crease okay. tab like right there. And I'm just asking, why are you using that and not a mini lifter? Mini lifters over there. One coin. So, my personal take on when you're doing aluminum is I like to use a uh, mini lifter. 
on uh, because I want to pin down the feet and then get a strong pull. So you need a you got a piece down? Okay. Now, I don't know if that if that's strong enough yet. You have a bigger one? Is that same size? This is bigger. That's bigger. Try that one. See, that's how I like to look at the dent. Not like that. Okay. Yeah. I think you need a stronger tab. That aluminum is not gonna. Let me go over there. Let me go. Let me go get him a stronger tab. I know a lot of you guys are watching, but you like my videos, but you don't like the video. So go please like the video and then subscribe too. Don't forget. So please, you like videos like this? You tell me, tell me you like them. Give me some comments down there. I'll do more of them. You don't like it? Tell me what you don't like about it. I appreciate that. Nope, he just snapped it. Good. I think you just got it already. Get to like and subscribe, please. Talk to you later. I appreciate that. Look at it, it's growing. It's growing. See, say, Uncle Mike knows. I'll, tell, I'll treat you good if you treat me good, all right? So give me, give me some love. Talk to you later. Hold on a second here, but let me see what he's doing here. Ouch. Never put that down there. <laughs> you're you're going to burn both of us. Man. We're going to join the, the burn, burn club. There we go. Okay, so you missed a little bit. You see how it pulled up the shoulder a little bit on the pinch? Mm -hmm. Okay. I did give you... See, we ordered these from Blem, so I want you to try this and put it, put the, always put the shaft right in that center, mm -hmm. like that, okay? And then bang. But I want you to tap that down first, okay? Because we don't, because that's going to hold tension, all right? Bang. Now, you guys, I'm sure you'll be learning something or maybe you're understanding how I, how I teach, but there's a lot more to it than just what I'm just telling him. The fundamentals, the first week was super crucial about learning. This is, you gotta keep an eye on this, right? There you go. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Okay. Yeah, put the, and put that, use that red tab right there. And then prep that panel, please, just, just in case that so we know for sure we're gonna get a good pull, okay? So you'll be seeing Vinny soon. <laughs> yeah, Cowboy Vinny? Yeah. I'm not sure, is that, is that Michelle? Ben well, thanks, thanks guys for subscribing and uh, liking too. I appreciate that. So it's not hard. I see 71 of you people watching. Hit the like, please. Or are you just uh, just wondering what the hell are we doing, right? There we go. Nice. So it's. Blim. I'm not going to put a lot of tons of links on here, guys. All right. So this is kind of like a live spontaneous thing. It takes a lot of time to do all that. I'll do it maybe later. 
but hopefully you're paying attention. You can see that's a Blem tab right there, Blem tools. And this is a Kiko a Robo Lifter. There you go. You see how you see how I grabbed the hell out of that, dude? Okay. I think you might have missed it though. Let's see. But dang, that was a that was a violent pull, man. Yeah, dent trainer is definitely next month. We know that. Oh. Yeah, you did miss it just. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you need to make sure you place it one more time right there. Okay. But you know what? We're gonna double pull. You don't have to tap down on this one, okay? You didn't miss it bad, you just missed the shoulder of it. And we're using hog glue, by the way. So just make sure when you place it, you're not moving it around, okay? Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's what we wanted. You see those pinches in that line? Perfecto. Okay. We just, that, dude, they give you all the head start in the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you can tap down. Then you can tool it if that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I personally would tool it myself. Tap it down and tool it. And then, then, then call it. Or if you, if you like the glue pole, you can glue pole too as well. Okay. But this gives you a huge head start. You know what I mean? It prevents you from making all those poke marks in the first place. Right. I, you, you go ahead. I'm going to be out of your way. Larry, I hope you, I hope you get warm, man. I know the weather's just turning on you guys out there. But thanks for watching, dude. Blem for the win. You're right, dude. Good. Turn your board. There you go. There we go. Look for the next pinch. I can't get that good shot right there. Bear with me, guys. I'm just shooting on a crappy iPhone. Maybe a little bit. Oops. Don't, but don't go inside. Let me see that. Let me see that. Don't go out here too far. You do that, it's going to grow, unwillingly grow. But right here, but keep turning. If you don't see it, turn your board. But it's it's right there. Other way, other way. See it? It's like right here. Okay. Or push. Why don't you just push? You'll see that high come back, okay? Why don't you put, use your tool and just push the low as much as you can right now. That's a good one. See how I like to see it that way? It just gives me a nice fat read. Like I can just push that low out. So by the way, too, ladies and gentlemen, you probably think that I'm just doing lines all the time. I let my students pick what they want. They are able to use fog and lines whenever they want. Last student was um, taught on fog, 
and you just end up liking lines. It's, I think it's, it's how well you're taught to understand your reflection. It's not the reflection itself. Remember, don't fight into the glue. Go, like, turn here and then turn your tip that way, okay? There you go. Nice job. Do you want your heat? Put a little heat on there. There you go, good. See how he moved that board? He's always moving that board to give him the best look. All right? Okay. You don't get very much openings when you're inside of an aluminum panel. This is actually a lot for an aluminum panel, to be honest with you. It's usually way, way more blocked than that. So some of the tools he's using is, uh, some, sometimes we like to use a metal VIP tap down, which is top notch, really good. They can mark the paint though. You gotta make sure you uh, really keep it polished. Again, this is another option tool we were using. Um, what else? In case you're joining us a lot. We're using some of these tools too. These are the uh, Excalibur. A little bit more arced. Look at you. Look at you. You got, you got to admit, ladies and gentlemen, for his, technically this is his first day on his fourth week. Not bad. Now, what, you gonna, what do you think you're going to do? I, I wouldn't knock down. What, what would you do? Just, just join everything together, right? Those little micro lows, right? Just pick a line that's the lowest and go for it, okay? Nice job. Oh, you're getting some guns too. Let's get some definitions since you've been here. <laughs> Sorry, we're buffing. This is that's the part about being live. I'm sure you rather have content than no content. So beggars can't be choosers. So don't complain. No complaining here, people. Oh, 
And if you want really polished videos that don't have the distraction noise and all that live stuff going on, then go to dentrainer.com. I do produce, produce very professional videos, voiceovers, step-by-step, -step, full detail, downloads, you name it, dentrainer.com. Go check it out if you're serious about learning. Look at that, nice. Look at that, look at, look at that good boy. Way to turn it, there you go. Now move your head so you see just a little bit of the low, right? You're still focused on a little bit of, of lows, like little tiny waves. Let me see your pointer. Well, give me the... You want it to look nice and tight, okay? Put that on. Steven, I know. I know, Steven. I'm 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 sorry dude, but you know what? Your your own uh your persistence is going to keep you in it, in the game, dude. So don't give up. Just, just know that uh, you got to continue to learn and be patient and go to Dent Trainer. I'm telling you, I've been told that Dent Trainer has by far better training on through video than most people's personal one-on-one -on -one training that they go to. Besides mine, of course, you're going to, you learn way more than you thought, than you think you're going to learn. And can imagine being in person when you're here. Good. Yeah, I was turning that off and then you can tap, dude. Okay. All of a sudden everything's quiet. No more buffing, no more. Good, good, good. So oh you mean you want the tap down? Now personally, just FYI, we could have see this little low right here? Look through the video. Okay, through the phone right there. Mm -hmm. You could always push that too as well. Okay. Or you can tap, you can do either or, but I'm just showing you if I've, if I was going to tap, I'd make sure that was, that, that was low too, because why do I want to guarantee, guarantee myself two steps if I know I could still push this? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cause if you're going to tap, it's going to go low again. You know what I mean? Sorry, where, where, where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep pushing. You can get that tightened up. I'm gonna try to read you guys' questions while he's doing his thing, so. Um, question, you learned them, how much is the income approximately in USA, if possible to tell? Um, that's kind of an open question. It really is going to depend on how hard the student works to market themselves. But I'm going to say anywhere the first year between 40 to 100,000. Okay. Are you going to be making more videos? For I always make more videos, but be more specific, please. I just made some for Dent Trainer uh, two days, three days ago, and I've got more videos coming. So if that's what you're pertaining. Nice job, dude. Shoot, you guys are hanging in there. I didn't know how many people were hanging in here. Oh, I thought maybe 20 or 30 people would be hanging in dude, or watching, but it's a little more than I thought. Okay, good, good. So his, one of his favorite tools is the top down, uh, the Kiko Red Fire top down.
move that board a little bit when you get a chance, okay? There you go. There you go. And keep your head down low. And look at the tightest pinch first, okay? Yeah. Keep that top down straight. There you go. A little bit closer to you, that pinch. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Woo! Handle designs, boy, what can I tell you about handle designs here? This is a um, Ultra, it's a ratchet. It's a quick release, this whole thing comes off easy. And then also, when you put it on, you can swing it too. Really good tool. There you go, there you go. Now you can see that pinch. Tap it down if you like. If you can see, if you can read it that way, go ahead. I mean, I can, but. Yeah, but what's, look at the pinch, right? Get, get your head, like, come diagonal like this way. Is that a hump? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the general. Don't look at the texture, okay? If you look at the general, you'll get a better look. If you don't, if this, if this too much texture, then bring it in a little bit, okay? Yeah, a million dollars. <laughs> John, you're funny, man. Just bought a kit. Let's see here. Bought a kit with tools. How often do you do three? Do you do these live tutorials? Well, I'm very spontaneous about doing my live tutorials. If you, if you're, uh, if you're a tech that goes, or if you're a person that goes, you think you're gonna learn everything just off my live videos? No, you'll get a lot of value but you're not going to learn a lot off the live videos again i'm not sure if you're listening but the best way to go is denttrainer.com that's you have consistent hundreds of videos you're going to learn a lot of the foundation there um a lot of little details that make your that make the big difference in your your pushing okay and don't buy a lot of tools, everybody. And don't sit there and go, oh, I'm gonna buy tools before you even know how to use them because chances are you bought crappy tools and then you're gonna buy twice. So take my advice, watch the videos, get advised on what video tools you should buy, then buy tools. But don't buy a whole crap load, especially from eBay. Do no, no, okay? Is aluminum work harder to work on? The factors that absolutely, it's 100% harder to work on. I had three sets keep in mind. Do you recommend them? And if so, why? Yes, I actually like the smaller Kikos because they are more uh, precise and they are um, really good. I like actually like the red fire and I like the actually I like the ice and the, the all of them and the root beer ones and they have a different hardness so watch out if you're on a some paint that's very delicate then you don't want to use the harder ones you want to go with fire but also VIP is really good if you guys can hear me look at him push you see him he's going for the kill guys he's getting it out this is called finishing what you're watching right now this is the most hardest thing to do. Even veteran techs have a hard time finishing and they've been doing it for a long time. Some of them still don't know how to finish. And look at this gentleman finishing on aluminum.
he makes it look a little easier than it really is. It's very, very tough. You can find uh, you can find serious tools on AnsonPDR.com. You can find them on Ultra Dent Tools, Dent Craft, Blem Tools, A1. Those are just to name a few. Um, PDR Finesse. Those are the top leading PDR manufacturers, tool manufacturers in the world. Now, as far as lights, you'll still be able to find a lot of those lights there. A limit dent, Stucky tools, uh, stuff like that. Do not go to eBay and think that's the same. It's not. It's not even close. You, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna buy cheap and you're gonna buy twice. Good. I'm getting tired of holding this phone, man. I'm like getting ready to go. Ooh. Oh yeah, and well, Dent Reaper. Well, that's right. Yeah, you can get Dent Reaper at uh, A1. So and yeah, yeah. Vicente is my 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 dictionary here. I said finesse. I got you. I got you. I got you. Vicente is my assistant, man. Where can we find see there? You got it definitely. Okay, and then da 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 da. And if you guys are wondering, you're still on the fence about Dent Trainer, wait till Black Friday then, okay? You're gonna have the biggest savings of the year. Huge savings. So check out denttrainer.com during Black Friday weekend week and uh, get on there, man. It's the best investment if you're serious about learning PDR best investment even after you've gone to training you still want different insights different techniques different different and you get tool discounts too as well i forgot to mention that you'll see all the tool discounts there good job dude put that sucker to sleep like kill it get it out I'm tired of holding this phone man people have been watching like a lot of people are like well, is he gonna get it out today before dinner <laughs> good job dude Way to go. I told you it'd take about an hour. 52 minutes and 43 seconds so far. You remember how long it took you to do one dent? I think it took you like 52 hours, man. <laughs> Thank you. I like it too. Oh, if, you, if you're in Europe, go to tdntools.com, okay? If you're in Europe, go to tdntools.com. That's my buddies out there, top-notch guys, uh, Kevin and all the team out there. And they carry all the USA tools, so trust me, those are some good tools out there, okay? There you go, mate. Watch that. Stay on that skinny spot as much as you can, okay, dude? Okay. So one more time before I let you guys go, okay? Hit the like button if you prefer, if you like this value of the videos that we do. I do spontaneous videos live, of course, um, and subscribe, okay? I know, I know uh, some of you are, forgot, oh man, I gotta hit that like or I forgot to subscribe. That's when you subscribe and you hit all and I do a live video spontaneous, you'll get notified, then you won't miss it. So uh, definitely check that out. Plus, plus I have part two coming on the, uh, the, with the, with the, uh, the meetup I did. Uh, so episode two, and it shows a really nasty dent being worked and then what those guys were doing, how they did it. They came to my shop, different texts from locally from Southern California, and uh, it was very interesting. I think you're gonna like part two. So anyways, I'm gonna put it off a couple more minutes to see where he's at, and then we're gonna call it, all right? I appreciate you guys watching too. Junior Toledo's going to love that shine. <laughs> he is gonna love it. Where you at here? Okay, so you're, you need to just, so you need to tap down this side, okay? See, that? this is what's holding this. Now, instead of using that sharp tap down, I would get an R4 because we don't want to add any more micro lows in there, right? 
we want to just knock down the general and then say and then just use sharp tools to finish off the lows right My R4 is probably over here. Yeah, no, that's that's not R4. No, let's go over here. Hmm, Ooh, this is so unorganized today. You can use this one. This is kind of a, a replica of an R4. Okay. All right. usually more organized here. I'm going to take this off for now, okay? Cause I, can you hold that for a second? It doesn't drop. Okay, there you go. Just be careful, you can still put lows in that, okay? So the farthest, the, the high spot closest to you, the pinch, okay? The line, right, right, right? A little more towards you, a little more towards you. Yep, yep, right there. That's, that's where I would tap. Easy, tap lift up, don't just smash it because otherwise you're gonna create more lows for yourself. Was it that caused? Training, yeah, it, it definitely is. Oh, bummer, man. Sorry, Stefan. You might want to. You might want to message them. Yeah, right. Exactly, right there. Yep. Tell them Toledo sent you. There you go. There you go. There. See how it's getting more. It's getting a little bit more level. Okay. There you go. And it's safe. All right, guys. I'm going to let him finish this out. But I thought I'd just uh, give you guys, just kind of show you, just give you a taste of what my training's like, my personal training. Of course, it's way more in-depth than that. But uh, the foundation, thats he wouldn't get that far if he doesn't uh, understand the foundation of, of PDR. All pushing himself, all knocking down, uh, just help advise uh, what he's doing. So... Again, if you guys like this video, you like more live videos, let me know. Let me know some comments after this down on the bottom, and then let me know what else you'd like to see. I will try to answer those questions as best as I can, as fast as I can. But other than that, we'll catch you guys later on the next one, all right? And don't forget to check out DentTrainer.com, okay? Talk to you guys later. See ya.